Israel, as it currently exists, can't have peace because peace requires them to treat the Palestinian people with respect. And Israel today is incapable of treating the Palestinian people with the respect and dignity, not only that they deserve, but that they demand. There's a tremendous amount of political pressure on Benjamin Netanyahu now to be seen as doing something decisive to bring this Hamas uh, issue to an end. And that requires a major military move into Gaza, which I will tell you right now, Israel will lose. Will lose. The Israeli army can't suffer casualties. Going into urban warfare, if you've learned anything from you know, Mariupol, from Bakhmut, Gaza will become like that and worse. The Israelis will suffer losses like they can't even imagine, greater than the Yom Kippur War in its totality. And this is politically unacceptable for Benjamin Netanyahu uh, and the Israeli people. If they go into Gaza, they will have to stop their operation almost immediately because every force there in Gaza will be needed in northern Israel. Because when Hezbollah comes in, they will make what Hamas did the other day look like child's play. The entire north will fall. Haifa could be put at risk. That's the future of Israel, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. The Iron Dome doesn't work. Their missile defense systems do not work. And then when Hezbollah attacks and shows victory, you think Syria is going to remain silent about the Golan Heights. No, Syria will move on the Golan Heights. They have two divisions they brought up to combat readiness as we speak. And if Syria gets engaged, will Iran stand on the sideline? Iran understanding now with Hamas, Hezbollah, and Syria decisively engaged, now is the time to end the Israeli threat once and for all. And Iran will become involved. And now we've seen the strategic defeat of Israel. Follow for more.